Welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing the interactive activation model. In the last video, we reviewed verbal short-term memory. Here, we will present the interactive activation model of word processing, which shows how verbal short-term memory and language are linked. So what exactly is the interactive activation model? The IA model, as it can be called, is a framework for explaining normal language and for explaining what goes wrong in aphasia. Word processing is used for both understanding and producing language. In aphasia, there is a disruption in word processing rather than an actual loss of words. The IA model helps explain this disruption. This depiction of the IA model demonstrates the steps involved in both language input and output. For the auditory comprehension of language, it shows how spoken words are processed in order to understand an idea. And when you reverse these steps, it demonstrates the verbal expression of language, in this case, moving from an idea to the spoken word. An important concept is that word processing takes place over time. The time involved in activating the different language levels is very brief, a matter of milliseconds, but it is not instantaneous. And note, the times shown here are just an example of how long it might take to retrieve a word. Different words in different contexts may take a longer or shorter amount of time. Another key concept in the IA model is that movement through the steps of word processing is interactive, meaning that there is both a feed forward and a feedback flow of information. It is not a unidirectional process. Word processing occurs via spreading activation. This means that adjacent information nodes on the various levels are activated at the same time as the target node. In this illustration, you can see that the target word cat is activated, but a semantically similar word like dog is also activated. Additionally, phonemically similar words in the lexicon such as mat are activated by feedback activation from the phoneme level that spreads back upward to the word level. In this model, when a target word such as cat is activated, there is also spreading activation to semantically and phonemically similar words. For this reason, the IA model proposes that word processing is a competitive process. Activation of the word cat is competing with activation of related words such as dog or mat. In the same way, the activation of target phonemes competes with the activation of related phonemes. Two activation parameters account for the selection of the target word, or when errors occur, a related word. The first of these is activation strength. Activation strength of the word cat must be stronger than that of related words, such as dog or mat. And again, the same is true at the phonological level. The phoneme for the k sound must be stronger than similar phonemes such as g, The second activation parameter is duration. The word cat must be activated long enough for it to be selected. When the signal fades too quickly, the person will report losing the word. One final point about the IA model of word processing, and this is really an important one. Language and verbal short-term memory are intrinsically related. Verbal short-term memory is part of language, and language is part of verbal short-term memory. They are not independent, separate skills. 
recall that word processing occurs over time. Word representations need to remain active for roughly 300 milliseconds for all the steps involved in speaking or understanding to take place. That's why short-term memory is an essential component of language. In this video, we have explored the interactive activation model of word processing. In the next video, we will examine how that IA model can be used to explain what goes wrong in aphasia.